Growing up, we all experienced some of our most awkward times, but what happens when you're a 13 foot teen who's been hidden away for most of your life? Boots Riley, the filmmaker who brought us critically acclaimed 2018 film Sorry to Bother You, is now diving into TV with I'm a Virgo, a coming of age story about an Oakland teen named Cootie who just happens to be a giant. Take a look. Well, I'm a Virgo, and Virgos love adventure. We showing up with a giant. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to Bing Bang Burger. What can I bop you with today? <laughs> we are joined now by Kara Young and Olivia Washington, who are both part of the show's cast. Welcome, ladies. Hi. So nice to have you here. So Thank lovely to be you. here. All right, let's start off with why is this called I'm a Virgo? That's a good question. You know, I've been, I, I heard Boots say it, so I'm going to Firstly, one, I think I also heard him say a couple different things. One of them being, I think it's just a thing that people say. And secondly, it's because Cootie doesn't define himself as being 13 foot tall, feet mm. tall. He defines himself as being a Virgo. So yeah. I think that's pretty cool. With and all the emotions that go along with that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I also saw that Jarrell had said in an interview uh, something to the sort of, it, it, it connects me to my human. Mm. And not to my size. Mm. Yeah. That's really oh, yeah. You relate to that, right? Absolutely. No, we, were, we were talking oh. about that earlier, right? On the inside. <laughs> You're You're big on, the inside. on the inside. All right. So, so talk to us about Cootie's unique journey and both of the characters that you all play as you're kind of uh, bringing him into the real world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, like he has been inside of his house for his whole life. So when he steps out, he very luckily meets some pretty amazing friends and and maybe falls a little hard for for me, yeah. <laughs> for little Flora. Um, but he's just experiencing so many new things for the first time and has great guides in that exploration. Yeah. You have a storyline that's really fantasy, comedy, satire, drama, all in all. What were you all thinking when you first read the script? Wow. So the first read through was really kind of spectacular because it was like it was like on Zoom yeah. and we were all in isolation mm -hmm. in our own in our own places. But um, I was like, whoa, what a wild ride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's unlike anything I'd ever read before. So ever. it's it, it's Boots Riley also. So he <laughs> makes such dense, like uh, unique universes that you just really want to explore in and be a part of. Kara, why did you decide you wanted to be a part of this project? Boots Riley. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, you know, it, what's interesting is, you know, I have a I have a background in the theater, and and coincidentally, a lot of the characters that I've played have been survivors of capitalism. And mm. there's a big theme in this show that you'll see play out. Uh, but I feel like Jones is almost an amalgam of like the heartbeats of all of those characters uh, channeled through um, the like the justification of 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 who they are and and the and like the global oppression of the world i feel like jones is carrying like the heartbeat mm. of humanity on her and that is really important to me in all of the work that i do carrying the heartbeat of humanity that is <laughs> oh. deep deep what do you all hope that viewers take away Ooh. Everything. I yeah. think there's just so much to yeah. absorb. There's so much to lean into. Um, and there's so many stories. There's so many people. Mm. Like, Olivia plays Flora, and there's, like, I think it's one of the most profound stories in episode three. Mm. It feels like such a connection to people who haven't been seen. Olivia, obviously you come from a family of actors, your dad Denzel, mom Pauletta, <laughs> brother John David. When was the moment that you decided, I'm gonna do this too? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think uh, growing up in such an artful house, um, I was always kind of in the arts and I was, I was painfully shy as a child. So my mom threw me into dance class uh, with Eartha Robinson and you know, she, she looked like me. She was from Harlem. She, she spoke with attitude and, and, and assurance and she saw me and she pushed me. So I think from that place till now was kind of that maturation of my artistry. Ladies, we thank you so much for coming by and thank talking you. with us. Really a great pleasure to have you here. We want to let our viewers thank know that the show I'm a Virgo is now available to watch on Prime Video. Yes, Yay. go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.